Welcome to geometric series. So definition, uh, an infinite series. is uh, said to be geometric if it takes the form and the sum from n equals one to infinity of r to the n for some constant r. So note, the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over three to the n uh, equals the sum from n equals one to infinity of one third raised to the n from our previous video takes this form. So it is a geometric series. So for the convergence or divergence of geometric series, we're gonna pull the same trick we pulled previously. So again, note that, uh, so if we have geometric series, I sneeze for a moment. Um, so if we had have, a geometric series um, the sum from n equals one to infinity of r to the n, uh, then the partial sums are um, S sub N is equal to, oh, usually, I should say, usually for geometric series, we actually start from N equals zero. Um, if you start from N equals one, it is a geometric series. Um, essentially, we just uh, have to multiply the whole thing by one third. So I factored out my one thirds. Um, so let me rechange these so we go from n equals zero. So this way we can just do one plus r plus r squared plus all the way up through plus r to the n. We don't have to start off with r and factor it out. Um, so this series, this is the same thing as uh, r to the, or as one minus r to the n plus one over one minus r using the same logic as previously. So um, we had uh, one plus x plus x squared plus all the way up through x to the n plus, sorry, up through x to the n is the same thing as uh, x to the n plus one minus one divided by x minus one. But then if we flip the order of both, uh, this is the same thing as one minus x to the n plus one over one minus x. So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of s sub n, 
This is the same thing as taking the limit as n goes to infinity of one minus r to the n plus one over one minus r. Is the same thing as one over one minus r times the limit as n goes to infinity of um, one minus uh, r to the n plus one. So we know that this is going to, of course, uh, uh, diverge if r is bigger than one, r to the n plus one will blow up. It will converge if r is less than one. So this will go to um, this will go to uh, one over one minus r for r less than one. And it will diverge for r greater than one. So I will go to infinity for r greater than one. And then for r equals one, we would just have one plus one plus one plus one plus one, which will also diverge. So again, for r equals one, we just have one plus one plus one plus one, plus one going on forever, which diverges. So what we have is uh, as long as, oh, I should say for absolutely value of R less than one. Uh, we have uh, convergence and for absolute value of R greater than one, greater than or equal to one. Um, we have uh, divergence. Um, so again, we have converges. So this sum from n equals zero to infinity of r to the n converges only if uh, the absolute value of r is less than one. And if it does, then it converges to one over one minus r. So let's determine if each of the series uh, converges or diverges. And if it converges, find the sum. So here we're looking first up at the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative two to the n. So here our r is equal to negative two. We have a geometric series. R being equal to negative two means that the absolute value of R is equal to two, which is greater than or equal to one. So that means that the series diverges. On the other hand, if we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one fourth to the n. Again, this is standard form for a geometric series. Our r here is negative one fourth. So we check the absolute value of r is equal to one fourth, which is less than one. And so we have converges. And specifically, it converges to uh, one over one minus r, which is 
uh, one over one minus negative one fourth, otherwise known as uh, one over five fourths, otherwise known as four fifths. So the series of negative two to the n, so where the terms are alternating between positive and negative, we're adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting as we go, ultimately it will converge to four fifths. Um, so this is our sort of geometric series. If you have a geometric series, it's very quick to determine whether it converges or diverges. If it converges, it's very quick to use the formula to see what it converges to. 